We now have all three components separated and we can start analysing the porosity associated with each component. First we will be considering component 1. To isolate the porosity I will be using an auto thresholding. For auto thresholding we will be using auto thresholding low. This is because the grayscale values associated with the porosity are low values. It is important to keep each of the data associated with each component in its own place, otherwise the project view will become very complicated. If we click on the labels, we can now use an author slice to ensure that the porosity has been adequately picked out. In this case, we can see the pores have been isolated. However, so has all the air outside of the component. To eliminate the air on the outside, we can use a function called border kill. We can now see that the pores have been isolated from the background air. We can now repeat this procedure for components 2 and 3. We have now isolated the porosity in each of the components and we can now carry out a label analysis on each. Now that we have isolated the porosity we will start with analysing the porosity in component 1. To analyse the pores we will use a label analysis. This can be found under the measure and analyse folder. I have already put together an analysis package which I will call particle analysis. This contains measures such as volume, surface area, ferrochet, shape, object location and a bounding box for the absolute size of the object. Once the pore analysis is complete it will give out a label field. In the label field each pore is given a different colour. This can be seen using an ortho slice. We can now repeat this for components 2 and 3. 